Hello foodies and welcome to episode 2 of 3D Cookout. Today I am here with the Bamboo Lab P1S. And since P1S is such a huge fan of mine, having never responded to a single communication of mine in the two years I've been trying, I decided to save this particular printer for today's topic, deservedly so, which is the TV dinner. Here you can see your classic American TV dinner, meatloaf and gravy. You've got your corn, your meatloaf, your mashed potatoes. It is warm, hearty, and delicious. We are going to go ahead and attempt to cook this in this enclosed Bamboo Lab P1S. We do know that Bamboo Lab printers are known for their speed, and what is the one thing a TV dinner is also known for? Did you say speed? You'd be right. So, let's get cooking. With your TV dinner in hand, press the power button, fire up your P1S. Take a good look at this picture so we know what we can expect, and pop this thing open. And there it is, looking exactly like the packaging. Don't forget to peel back the paper. And of course, when cooking TV dinners in your P1S, do go ahead and leave the door open a crack for ventilation or flip the lid over using its handle to prop up and ventilate your cooking TV dinner. And using the manual interface, raise the chamber temperature as high as the printer will let you. And there you have it. And look at that, exactly like the packaging. Cooked right here in your very own Bamboo Lab P1S 3D printer. So when you're in a hurry and you just don't have time for slow cooking because you've got deadlines and work to do and stuff coming up, maybe it's time to set aside your slow old fashioned bed slingers move up to faster high-speed cooking with something like the Bamboo Lab P1S 3D Cooker. I'm Greg Ranger. Let's get cooking. And pop the door open. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Ow. That's what I get. <laughs> Taking a shot at bamboo, huh? Damn it. With your TV dinner in hand, 